Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 15 and today we're returning with Coventry City in the FA Cup third round in the Champions Liverpool away at Anfield. Plus, transfer window has opened. Before we get to a big bid for one of our star players as well, let me show you how Wolves been getting on off camera. So of course in the last episode you saw back-to-back -back thrillers, uh, the six-goal avalanche against Sheffield United finishing 3-3, three -three, then the 3-2 loss to the King Power against Leicester. Just three games off camera, two wins and a defeat in what has been a very, still pretty impressive run uh, for Wolves despite two losses in our last four. So we began with a 2-1 win uh, away down the road against Leeds United, a game of sort of dead ball situations this one really. Uh, Jimenez scored our first heading in a JWP free kick for Calvin Phillips equalised from a corner and then we won a penalty 11 minutes after three start which Jimenez converted in a 2-1 win there at down the road and following out a surprise defeat on Boxing Day 2-1 at home to Bournemouth. Got to say these are sort of results where if we want to finish in Europa League spot we can't can't afford this here against the newly promoted Cherries. Um, we had a goal disallowed, shot horror right before the break, and then 60 seconds later, Bournemouth went in front. And I was thinking, God, here we go. Jimenez got us back on double term seven minutes after the restart, but a minute to go on the clock, and another VAR decision that totally messed us about and ended up costing us the game. Penalty for the Cherries, Curtis Jones on low from Liverpool converted it 2 1 the final score there. And again, another game where I was just cursing VAR. Not the first time I've said that in this series so far, but we did respond though in the following game didn't feel sorry for ourselves two days later took on Spurs at home and beat them by four goals to one second time we've beaten Spurs in the series already uh, fell behind six minutes in Pavon uh, making it 1-0 but what a response from Wolves Daniel Pedence got us back on level terms 21 minutes into the game and then oh my goodness this dude has stepped in in place of the injured Ruben Neves and been unbelievable James Ward Prowse scored two goals in five minutes first a glorious free kick and then after Traore held the ball that well done left hand side running on to the free ball and smacking I mean smacking it in making it 3-1 and then Raul Jimenez got our fourth 22 minutes before time in what was one of our wins of the series let alone the season so yep two wins in our last three games as we close out the calendar year of 2021 as you can see by the table we are currently sitting in fifth place right now with three points behind Chelsea though the Blues have two games in hand and a better goal difference record well. you know, to be honest even though the points gap is so short I'm not thinking about this. I'm not thinking about this at all. Top four, I'm not bothered one bit. The only thing that matters to me is we stay here. Fifth, sixth, and seventh. Not getting ahead of, my, uh, get ahead of ourselves here. Five points clear at Everton. That they do have the game in hand. It's still very tight indeed. And we've only just got past the halfway point. Right, I know you guys are waiting for this. If you follow me on Twitter at DocLanders, I know you're waiting for this. When I said that there was a bid for one of our star players, you knew who it was going to be for. Morton Forsby. Yup, the mental man has got a bid here from the Chinese side, uh, SH Paul. As we know, sometimes the Chinese Super League sides pay a lot of money sometimes for relatively average players of yours. They put a bid in uh, for the Norwegian of 20, is it 28 million? Uh, oops, that's a transfer offer. I'm not offering out. Transfer offer, there we go. Uh, 28.5 million uh, for Morton Forsby. Of course, it also includes a clause there, and not all of it is up front. But I am not going to sell him. It, the agent says here, my client has no interest in joining SH Port. He is willing to enter preliminary talks to see if they can convince him to join, but you don't need to worry about Morton because I'm rejecting that bid right off the bat. I've never had a player, and I've never seen a player with 20 in the Holy Trio. I wouldn't sell this guy for, well, actually, I might sell him for £100 million, but I don't think that's going to happen. So Morton is staying here, and we look at the finances right now. We're down to £10.4 million. Pounds. Again, we've got that monster transfer budget because the board don't mind going in the red. But I do. So unless we sell a player in this January window, we're not going to make any signings. We've got a month to go, but um, I have I have no plans to sell anyone. I like the team as it is. And also as well, real briefly, uh, Rui Patricio has just signed a new five, uh, sorry, three year deal, three and a half year deal. Uh, stays on 100 grand a week. And even though he is 32 years old, 33 years old now, and so due to turn 34 in February, this guy's class, absolutely class. 10 clean sheets in 20. He's just a penalty saving king at times. Patricio's going nowhere, and I'm glad to know he's staying here for, well, most likely the rest of his career. I did try and offer a contract to Moutinho, by the way, like I said I would, but he turned it down. So he's out of contract at the end of the season. His interest from West Ham, is the vet going to leave? Well, I certainly 
Hope not. So heading to the first game, it is indeed Coventry to Sky Blues who are rock bottom in the championship right now. Three players are currently down. Nelson Samedo just can't seem to keep himself fit at the moment out of a twisted ankle. Nevers, as we know, is down with a torn hamstring. And Pedro Nato is also down with a twisted ankle himself. Everyone else is fit. This is our team 43 on relatively strong lineup here with a couple of changes. Patricio in goal, but for right Nuri, Cody, Bolly about to go on the African Cup of Nations with Connor Roberts. Uh, Will Prowse and Forsby are through the middle with Trevor and Drink Aldi inside forwards. And Gibbs White supports Fabio Silva up top on the bench better. Nelly, Kilman, Mattison, Jordan, Moutinho, Pedence, and Jimenez, just in case we need him as well. First game, it's the Sky Blues at Molyneux. Let's make it through to the fourth round with no hiccups. Come on, Wolves. Obviously, last year, we reached a final, and it was an amazing achievement. I think without that final appearance, I'm not sure I would have kept my job as Fabio Silva is denied early on into the game. I don't think I would have kept my job had we not reached the FA Cup final. We bottled the Premier League, we bottled Europa League football, um, I say we bottled the Premier League as if we're going to the title. We bottled the Europa League qualification uh, in the Premier League last season. But the FA Cup final appearance was like the saving grace, if you will. We only lost it on penalties as well. So without that, I don't think I'd still be here. So this season, I want a similar kind of run. The board have said quarterfinals. I'd, I'd love another Wembley appearance, though. Final four, that would be fantastic. Cup sets in FM can be quite common at times, though. <sighs> And right on cue, we almost saw the Sky Blues go in front for a Thunderbolt. Woodwork rattling. That's a little bit nervy. Jeez, I mean, that was a heck of an effort there. But 90 minutes in and, oh, War Prowse's deliveries are just something special. 20 for free kicks and have been on full display in his debut season. What an assist. He scored two of them, and I think he set up three goals with assists from them as well. Brilliant ball to the back stick. Francisco, once again with his head, not for the first time this season, nods it in off the woodwork, and there's our first goal. Trincao opens the scoring. Let's get a second and some breathing room. I mentioned before, like whenever I'm leading by one, regardless of how superior we might be to the opposition in terms of our ability, or whether we're in great form, whether we played really well, Trincao is denied by a brilliant save there, as it's still 1-0. I never feel comfortable at 1-0 never feel comfortable in, until I've got that two goal cushion and a bit of separation a bit of breathing room I still always fear the worst I think it is like sort of like negative mindset you know I need to change that but even so even though right now again the sky blues rock bottom of the championship we're at home we've been in relatively decent form I still keep thinking at some point they're gonna get a chance and get back in this game that's why a second goal right before half time would do us the world of good as Force B wins it back. Go on, Morton. Wins it back for the boys and offloads to a down with Traore down this left. I love Force B the piece, man. Everything he does, I'm raving about him. Gives White, Fabio Silva. There's that second goal. All started from the mental man, Morton Force B. Get a third goal and that'll do it. Right, Nuri down the left, back to JWP. Gibbs White has space to shoot, which he, oh, which he does. Glorious from Morgan and that'll do it. 3-0, game's done. We're into the fourth round. I don't see Gibbs White turning into a regular starter here. I just don't think he'll develop that much. But we will need a long-term successor for Moutinho at some point. He has the chance, but he's just he's just not got that much quality at this stage in his career. But he's really young now. Was he 20 years old? Maybe 21? Yeah, 21 now. So he's still got the ability to possibly turn it on in the future. But um, he's, he's got to get a move on quickly, really. That's the thing with FM. Like, players that are like 21 are like essentially at this stage already like established first team members on average because so often when you're managing a team like the wonder kids that are like 18 19 they, they become starters so quickly due to how many amazing new gen slash regens are available um as the game goes on but anyway free now i wanted an easy progress into fourth round and we've got it i'd love a final fourth place and on the basis of that performance i know it was only commentary but even so decent performance decent win we're through Hmm, and the board have just said, I can change my season expectations. Due to your performance in the league, we would like to offer you the opportunity to change your season expectations. Please note, however, you'll be judged on any changes you make going forward, and the expectations of the board will be adapted accordingly. I know why Jeff is doing this. He wants me to set the bar higher, so when I don't reach it, he can sack me. No, Jeff. No. Top half finish. You offered that to me at the start of the season. I'm keeping it, mate. I'm staying here for the long term. Oh, oh, I've just done something really stupid. <laughs> so I always need a draw uh, for the fourth round, and that serves me right for not concentrating. Um, well, there it is. We've got Spurs. 
<laughs> so normally I just do the draw with you guys and do the teams one by one, but I just quickly double tap continue, double click continue, and there it is, Spurs in the FA Cup fourth round. Now I know I've beaten them twice in the series began, but that's a tough, tough tie there. Who's in charge of Spurs now? It's Rafa Benitez, goodness gracious me, Spurs FA Cup fourth round. Man, that is going to be very difficult indeed to get through. Hmm. Oh, and this is interesting as well. Jao Moutinho has been offered a contract by a Chinese Super League side. I think he's gone as well. I think he's gone because I tried to offer him a contract and he just wouldn't listen to it. And again, the same. He's not prepared to restart the discussions. I think he's gone. I think Zhao is gone at the end of the season. Gutted as well. I know he's 35, but he has some incredible mental stats. Technically, he's still so good as well. That is gutting, man. Dressing room leader. We'll really miss him. And all the bids are coming in now. Here we go. Real Batiste want Max Kilman. It's a really low offer, though. Like, I'm, I'm totally fine selling the guy. But it's such a low offer. And with three and a half years left in his deal, I'm in no rush here whatsoever. I always find that so frustrating in FM. Like, the, 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 the AI clubs that put bids in for your players, sometimes they are just so low. And then when you reject them, your players become annoyed. It's like, bro... You're worth like 50 million and they've put in 20 million pound a packet of peanuts. What did you expect? Gotta know your worth, boys. Gotta know your worth. Gonna reject these loan offers here. And oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, 35 million. But Morton don't want to go. He's got no interest in leaving. No. 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 Look at, look at how consistently good this guy is, man. Like I said before, he's not just a novelty. He's not just here for a laugh. This dude is brilliant. No, sorry. That's a, it's a great offer, don't get me wrong. And it'll be a great profit on the guy, but no. He's the mental man. He's going absolutely nowhere. So second and final game today. Champions Liverpool away at Anfield. Uh, leading the league right now as well. So can't just get anything from this game. Uh, Bolly has indeed now gone on international duty. Semedo, Neves and Nato are all still down as well. So a couple of changes to our lineup on the back of the win against Coventry. And this is our team. Patricia's a goal. But for us now, like Nuri, Cody, Chris and Roberts of War, Prowse and Forsby through the middle. Trey and Drinkhouse still the inside forwards. But now Moutinho and Jimenez come back in uh, up top. On the bench, we've got Bettinelli, Kilman, Matt. And Jordal gives White Pedent silver, and this is a second and final game. Liverpool away, can't just get anything from this. We've got a tough run of fixtures coming as well, so I'd certainly take a point. Come on, Wolves. Obviously, you know, when you're a team like ours, a sort of like sixth to ninth sort of team, if you will, then the games like this, where you're away from home against one of the big boys, a draw is it will feel like a win, and that's offside. Jimenez is through, he's converted it from close range, but absolutely no way is that stand. You know, it talks about how VAR has, you know, sort of really harmed us since the save began. It's it's been more detrimental than beneficial to us, but that one, I don't even need the VAR. Clear offside there is like Nuri sent it long for the Mexican, and yeah, I mean if I can spot it, it's definitely off. Oh, you want though, a decent start, putting the ball in the back of the net and getting another highlight just a few minutes later as well as Francisco dances round one, finds me. Please, Zhao, don't go to China, stay here. Zhao Moutinho will need a Zimmer frame at some point, but he has just rifled in the opening game and he's in the Trincao as well with another assist. Barcelona. I'd say name your price, but we can't afford him. Francisco's been amazing this year. Wolves in front at Anfield, courtesy of the Vets. But the question is, how long will our lead last? Former winger, Diego Jota, back to Henderson, who finds Trent, Alexander-Arnold. Great block by Big Chris. Still we lead. Corner. Wolves. Headed away, but it'll come back to JWP, who bends one. Oh my goodness, no. Don't disallow this one as well. Come on. Oh, come on. VAR disallows Wolves' 74th goal of the season. Jimenez nods in. Or Prowse is crossed. But to be fair, I think that one was probably offside as well. Was he? Oh, no. 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 I've pulled... No. You... That one, to me, looked a lot tighter. And surely... Am I going blind? Wasn't he on? Either I need to start wearing glasses, or that is a terrible decision from VAR. That looked on to me. That, unless I totally misjudged it, that looked like he was on. Connor, what a ball. We are on fire in these opening 20 minutes here. Right, Nuri to Ward Prowse, plays a 1 2. <sighs> Try to disallow that one, you twats. 
How many disallow goals have we had this series? It's ridiculous. VAR has constantly screwed me over, but not this time. Great ball by the left back. Treore, who's been very subpar this season, bends it in. We don't need a second replay, FM. But it's 2 0 Wolves 20 minutes in. But you know, the common theme for me is that we don't hold on to leads against big teams. It just doesn't happen. We lead against the big sides a lot, but we never hold on to them. Great tackle by Big Chris to flex straight into the path of Campania and Liverpool are right back in the game. That is so frustrating because that was genuinely a really good last ditch tackle there on Diogo Jota by the Norwegian but just to flex straight into the path of the red shirt 2-1. Two disallowed goals and a deflection that turned into a through ball. I mean, honestly, this has been a very frustrating first half. Even though we lead at Anfield, I'm feeling frustrated. Robertson down the left with Roberts to beat. And how has the ball been turned in from that angle? How? What on earth happened to that post next to Patricio? Oh, how do you... Oh, that's just... A clinical finish. I mean, let's be honest. That's that's pretty goddamn lethal, to be fair. If you can turn it in from that tight of an angle, then fair play. Got to give you some props. Um, just can't hold on to leads against the big teams. Trincao, saved by Allison, Still 2-2. Heck of a game, but ridiculous game. There's more to come as well. I'll be stunned if this game finishes 2-2 as Ward, Prowse and Moutinho scrambled a free kick away. But Liverpool get it right back here. And seven minutes to go before half-time. They've made it 3-2. Just holding on to leads against big teams is impossible. Three goals in 16 minutes. We've gone from 2-0 up to 3-2 down. Forsby's just got a yellow. Oh, it's falling apart. It's falling apart. Free kick. Shakiri Back stick. Henderson heads in and that will do it. Captain Fantastic. Jordan with a goal. 4-2 Liverpool. A throw away at Anfield. And again, this is why they're champions. If you want to be a winner... You've got to be resilient, and Liverpool certainly have been in this game. The VAR decisions did not help, obviously, but even so, as why now Alden bends one just wide. That is going to do it. 4-2, I think it's how it'll finish. And again, some positives to take out there. So you know I won't go harsh on my boys, but even so, there's just something about this year's FM. And I don't know whether it is just me, but whenever you take on the bigger sides, you do really well. You often lead, just like in this game. But you can just never hold on to the points. You can just never hold on to the result. And this is just total capitulation as well. I mean, seriously, it's it's 5-2. And it could easily become 6 in stoppage time. I said I was going to go harsh on my boys. But this is, this is poor. If we can see the 6th goal here, which we have. And once again, another one of those stupid deflections. It's just poor. Mixed emotions, to be honest. Oh, God, you are joking me. You are absolutely joking me. Surely it's not going to become seven. Goodness gracious me. Honestly. We, what, what happened? We were 2 nil up. We had two disallowed goals. We were doing so well. I don't understand this game at times, man. I didn't touch anything. I didn't do anything. I mean, I, I think in the grand scheme of things, we certainly could have done a lot worse. <laughs> But 6-2 is pretty damning. Well, I don't know what happened though. Like, the first half we were doing really, really well. But then we just completely threw it away. I'll say unlucky, boys. But to be honest, the first half might have been unlucky. The second half was just piss poor. 6-2. We remain in fifth for now. But all the teams below us have games in hand. Plenty of the season left to go. Still in the Europa League spot. But we've got some really tough fixtures to come. Man City, Chelsea, Spurs in the FA Cup fourth round as well. Very busy and big month of January. So I don't think we'll miss out too many games. Why don't we do Spurs at home and West Ham away. Because that would be a big one if the Hammers make a run for a Europa League spot. But that went to today's, uh, today's episode of the FM Reboot, guys. Big fan, you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you haven't, please drop a like. Most love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the next episode of the FM Reboot where we should find out the conclusion to the Jao Moutinho saga very soon.